Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about my uh, experience with the bars in the Philippines. Um, like I pretty much gave up drinking years ago, like when I was like 23. Um, but uh, when I was dating my girlfriend in the Philippines for a year in 2016, I, I did end up going to one of the bars with uh, um, uh, some friends over there. So um, how it worked out is on like, my second trip over there to visit my girlfriend, she just graduated from college and uh, got a job at one of the uh, call centers working in customer support for uh, one of the American um, uh, cell phone companies. So she couldn't pick me up at the airport, but her sister and brother-in-law, and then uh, one of her brother-in-law's buddies that actually owned the car, um, th they picked me up and uh, we had to wait until my girlfriend got a, a break. So we went ahead and we stopped at one of the convenience stores and got me um, you know, a little food and drinks and stuff to keep inside the hotel room. And I got checked in there. And then uh, they're like, you want to you wanna go out and, and, and check out the bars here? They're like, we'd, we'd like you to take you out and see what they're like or whatever. And I was like, sure. So we go ahead and we pull up this one bar and they're like, it, it's a cowboy bar. So they're like, it should make you feel at home. And I was like, really? This is going to be interesting. I wonder what a, a cowboy bar is going to look like in the Philippines. So we walk in there and sit down at the table. And all of the waitresses in there, they had their... Uh, um, their cowboy attire on, cowgirl attire, and um, yeah, it looks pretty close to what um, would be, uh, you know, costumes in the U.S. and everything, except for one thing, all of their cowboy boots, instead of being leather, they were like Ugg boots, you know, um, almost like snow boots, and I kind of had to laugh, because they were almost like stuffy animal boots on them or whatever, and boy, the music was so loud in there, like, it was, it was kind of like some of the college bars here in the U.S. where you can't hear anything. You had to be right up to everybody's ear to say anything or hear anything from anybody. But, yeah, we just went ahead and we ordered a pitcher of beer, and that's what we had. And uh, we didn't order any pizza, just the pitcher of beer. I think it's all that we had. Well, actually, wait a minute. I think we did have a pizza there because after I got the flight, I was pretty darn hungry because it was like 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, something like that. So, yeah, we had pizza, and we had the... Um, pitcher of beer and after we're done there then we um, headed over to um, McDonald's because my girlfriend uh, and all of her workmates were going to get their their dinner break for the night because uh, they work eight hour shifts but technically she'd always have to stay there for 10 because you have two hours of paperwork after you're done so I got to visit my girlfriend bought her uh, lunch there at McDonald's and uh, um, so yeah it was uh um, it was nice. Got to tell her all about the the bars and <laughs> staying there. You know, usually she doesn't go out to drink bar at the bar because I remember when she was going to college, she was always telling me, she's like, yeah, you know, when we all get bored, me and all my friends, she's like, we just go to one of our uh, friends' houses and we all just sit on one of the beds and we all just pass around the the vodka or something, you know. And I was like, hey, that's what we do in small town USA as well. As like nobody has any money either, and yeah, we just go to a friend's house and the parents are away and. Yeah, everybody just sits in the living room on the couches and, and passes around the, the vodka and whiskey, whatever um, is the cheapest $10 alcohol that you can buy. So, um, but yeah, that was, that was my experience of um, uh, the bar scene in the Philippines. Like I said, that's the only bar that I've ever been to over there. And um, like I said, the, the bar scene isn't my big uh, thing, but, but yeah, this is uh, in Manila, Philippines is where we went to. So, all right, take care, you guys.